What's that word, man? Let people know we got on 16 shot on visuals. Stop, man. So shake your head, D Dot. <laughs> For sure. Yeah, I know the vibes, man. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, uh, man, you just recently did an interview with Stop. Like, I want to ask you, like, how things been since, you know, the last interview, because I've been seeing you all over the internet. It's been great, bro. I ain't gonna lie, a lot has happened between then and now, like, a lot. For sure. So, I want to hey. ask you, you know, uh, what you doing in Chicago? It's like my third time here. Yeah, it's yeah. my third time here for me. I already been out here. I'm just doing more shit now because I'm just chilling with Star and her people and shit. So I'm just like going out to eat over here and shit. Right, like, seeing every things. Time I, every time I come out here, I just be doing mad business shit and shit, like shows or shows, interviews and shit back to the hotel. They doing tourist things. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now I'm from Chicago. I mean, I think I'd have seen, uh, I don't know if it was you or like some of your people kicking in the O-Block all type of shit, right? Yeah, my son, I, I've been there. I just don't, it's just camera. Oh. Yeah, for me, I don't fuck with my son Box. I fuck with my son Box. My son, um, what's his name? Who's bro that be with Box? Man. Uh, Charles? Yeah, Charles. My son Charles. Charles, for me, I, me and Didi brought him out when he was performing with Dirk. I seen, I seen that too. Yeah, we was just... Me kicking in with them boys and shit. My son Didi really, really made videos and shit. And I really just be kicking in with people like besides the internet, and shit. like box and me cool and shit. So you know how uh I things for y'all out here because I have seen y'all kind of have like a little back and forth with like a couple people. I guess a I song or something. I don't. I don't really care for me. At the end of the day, I'm be honest. I ain't my son FBG mom for me texting my son. My son Didi, and for me, like she did it that. So I don't think there's nothing, but for me, yeah. but for me, she texted him for me, and he apologized because he said niggas is dissing, bro. So he's like, like you know, if a nigga diss, you know, we gonna say a nigga, nigga, nigga dead too for me. So just for me, but ain't nothing. No, I don't try to look for no problems nowhere for me. I got, I already got my own problems, so I don't try to look for more. Yeah. So it's really for pointless for for real. Yeah, for it's really. pointless for me, but. Shout out to FBG Mama Duck for me. She 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 dead at that. So for me, I don't I respect her. I don't I don't respect anybody else. I respect her because she hit she hit DD up personally for me. Yeah. So yeah, I think she was on some like because you know she she went through the same stuff. Like, yeah, like as my son DD mom went through. Yeah, for me. So that's I feel like that's why they connected because like they both went through the same thing type shit. For me. So I'm gonna ask y'all like, uh, how did y'all meet? Cause, I see the song y'all got together. That's oh, we met in New York. Yeah. But um, so, um, somebody from my team went for me, went to her and told her, like, oh, you know d She She thought I was just like a regular, like, drill rapper, like a nigga that just drill rap. Like, she didn't know I was. So when I sent her the song, it, like, shocked her type shit. So, I mean, so she said, like, she... She she had she like she had fun making a song in the studio. Yeah, I made the song. I hopped on the song like two months before we actually met in real life, huh? And then yeah, we uh, shot not the two video. Months. It was like, like a couple for, of weeks. I made I the song in May, folks. I made the song in May. We shot the video in August. I made the song. No, in, like, we shot June. it in July and dropped it. Because I made the song before I got Sam. So it was around May, early June. Then we shot the video in August. That's when we met. That was our first hand meeting. Second time meeting, but like actually kicking it outside of the video. I think we was in what? New I York. went back to New York. I went back to New York. Yeah, we was chilling and there. shit. Yeah, all that. And went out to the steakhouse and yeah, shit. Yeah, he basically did what we doing out here, yeah, like out here, showing us around like, and stuff like that. And yeah. Going to the hood and shit. For me, that's why we was just Yeah, that's we was how we met though. For me. So did y'all expect the uh, song y'all did together to do the numbers it did? I did. Yeah. Nah, I, I tell her that all the time. I ain't really think, because I already did the song. She just was the remix, the feature for me. So I already did the song by myself. I shot the video in Puerto Rico for me. And I ain't, for me, I ain't think the song was going to go big. But for me, it's a blessing. For me, that's why. For me, I appreciate, appreciate her for hopping on the song. I always tell her, thank you. Shit for me, so. so like, are y'all like uh, signed to the same label or anything like that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so that just that too made like things better. So for me, her let my label people talk to her. For me and her label people already like her team like generally fuck with me too. So for me, so. cause I was like one of the first artists to get signed to Priority again, cause Priority just came out 
again, because if you know about priority, that was a back in the day. Like this is my, that's what, this is what I know. I, for me, I'm young. You know about priority. It was like a back in the day type of deal. I think they signed mad old artists for me. For me, so I was like one of the first artists to get signed, signed like to the label again when it came back out. So I just had different people working for me. So the people that's on her team, that's why I say they generally fuck with me. Because before they started working with her, they was like helping me with shit too for me. So how would y'all say like uh life changed since y'all been signed to labels? Like what would be like the pros we and the still cost? regular gang? We don't yeah. Yeah, we the still same regular. thing, everything like I'm basically doing what I've been doing. I'm just doing the times too. You feel me? Like I done did like open mics before. Now I'm doing stuff that I got booked to do. You feel me? I'm just getting paid for it now. Like, but I've been used to performing and just, you know, taking pictures with people. Everything just yeah, happens. Yeah, just got yeah, you money. Feel? Yeah. Things like that. And you actually way more known now. It's like everything just paying off. You feel me? So it ain't, I wouldn't say like I just woke up one day and I'm famous and all that. Like I work to get here, you know? So. so. Nah, we're... Nah, I ain't gonna lie, like, you got a, a real fan base. Like, I remember I put up in Portillo's and uh, somebody seen me and they was like, what, you a rapper? Somebody like, nah, I do interviews. They're like, who you interviewed? And then, you know, I'm naming King Vi, all this and that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they're a little younger, so it's yeah. like, they know King, but then they're like, are you gonna interview Stop Benz? I'm like, damn, <laughs> like, she got like... <laughs> oh, bro, like, he was, he was more excited to see your name out of everybody else. I'm, damn, yeah. That's what's up, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got the kids, man. Kids love us. So how how the uh, shows be like y'all? We just did one earlier. Yeah, we just did one. We finna do one tonight too. Yeah, finna go perform at uh, Simeon for yeah. homecoming. But yeah, earlier it was turned, you know, turned like turned up. Like, no yeah, we got tour coming up soon too. So yeah, all that just just come out through. I mean, we just started performing with each other. I've been like performing this shit, so I already know like how the crowd control and all that shit. For me. I heard you related to uh, Baby Chief Do It. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> that's gang, though. That's my boy, fuck. Yeah. That's my boy, fuck. He like gaming as a cousin. That's gang. You know, that's cousin. Yeah, I'm fucking that way. Yeah, I'll just drop something too, right? Yeah. So I want to ask y'all, like, do y'all got any, uh, I might have asked you this in the last interview, but like, do y'all got like any dream features? Like somebody that like. Young know, boy. Okay. Um, Drake. Probably, um, probably future Pluto. That's like, Drake is tough. Like, I ain't gonna. Pluto is that. A, that nigga. They don't be. They don't be giving my son the recognition he need, man. You don't think so? Um, bro, he was supposed to definitely get a Grammy after wait for you. After wait for you. I ain't gonna lie. I barely listen to Future, but I know like he, he got bro, the he song, that guy, bro. bro. He Especially got the song. twenty, like a couple years ago when he was dropping them like Dirty Sprite, all that shit. Like I'm. Know about my son's future. Like, I, Dirk, my favorite fan. I mean, my <laughs> not favorite fan. Dirk, my favorite <laughs> rapper for me and, and other other people. But I really want a song with, like, Drake or uh, uh, Future. I don't really. Like, Didn't Drake uh, co-sign you? Yeah, yeah. I was chilling with him. He, he invited me to um chill with him in, like, this bowling alley. Like, he was just chilling and he was in there, mad people. I mean, then the next day, he personally invited me to go play some basketball with him in the Miami Heat Center. Like with the Miami Heat people, like like go practice and shit. That's what he told me. Like, to That's some rich niggas. That's <laughs> some rich That's niggas. Shit. I was just there like, chilling. Like I was just there. Like, but he I ain't gonna lie. Drake is my son, bro. I fuck with him a hundred grand. But at basketball, my son is dirt. I ain't gonna lie. My son, son not nice at basketball. He made a couple threes, but my son just not nice. I, but he I'll got, probably he got a whole gym at the crib. He gotta be. Yeah, bro, I probably. Bro, I, bro, when he was playing, I'd probably get up with him on the court, bro. I mean, a nigga I know I can't get up with, though, is Quavo. That nigga nice. Like, wow. A couple niggas. Yeah, I, I, I heard Dirk decent, too. I ain't never Yeah, he it. decent. I, I, be like, I be looking at YouTube videos and shit when I'm in the crib chilling gang. Just be like, niggas, niggas is regular, too, for me. Like, other people be thinking rappers. And, for me, there's some rappers who, whose assholes, I ain't gonna lie. What's up? I ain't gonna lie. Niggas just be regular. Like, we the perfect example. For me, start making me walk outside more. I don't even like walking outside. I like being in the car. She be walking outside and shit. She just made me walk a whole like three blocks in <laughs> Chicago. I don't, I don't even walk like crazy if I'm not in my hood and shit. I mean, so. Shit, I feel like that's the place you shouldn't walk at. Nah, yeah, you right, but like. Like out here, I wouldn't say nobody specifically. You might run to some random off the wild ass shit. 
But in your hood, they really looking for you type shit. Nah, right? yeah, that's a fact. You're right. That's a fact. Have you ever died in their hood? Yeah, for sure. Mm. Like, if you notice, most of the time when somebody dies, they hood or they in their own hood. Like, but it could happen anyway. We was downtown, though, so. It do be stuff going on down there, but yeah. I don't know where we was just at. Out? I ain't, um, oh, yeah, for sure. You know that. <laughs> Tuck <Talking> not. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the times you've been, have you ever ran into any uh, crazy situations in the city? Like, well, like, damn, what's going on? Or... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah of course. I, that's everywhere, though, bro. The way y'all yeah. laughing, I think I might know already, but. Yeah. It's something. If y'all... <laughs> shit always happening, gang. Yeah. Right. So, how is it like y'all move around with security and shit? Yeah. My I don't shot normally. Thing. I don't normally Top walk shot around with security. I got my people with me, so, but yeah, but I, I got mean, security with us right now. I, I like it though. I ain't gonna lie. I like talking it. about people. Niggas need to have security. I'm for them. Shit, I'm for them. But I ain't gonna lie. I I, just, when I'm with my, my niggas people. in my hood, I don't like in my New York City. I don't really use it unless I mean, because I'm with well, this See, whole I'm city. At home, you know? bro. Yeah, this this at home. home. So but have, recently, when I see her out of state, she do be with security. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, it like, was just Puerto Rico. We ain't have that. In certain occasions, for you gonna need security. Regardless. Have y'all ever had a situation where like security actually had to you know do their job? Like one for was tweaking and they. It didn't got down to that. Like for me, niggas, for me, it didn't got down to like that's why they security for. So, so I see you be with the with the uh, game and the stream and stuff like that. What got you into that? Uh, it was really my son Didi Osama. He put me on to that shit because he was like. He bought a PC when we first got lit. Like, he bought a PC. He like, yo, D-Dot, get a PC, bro. Get a PC. I'm seeing him play GTA. I'm seeing niggas wear Marys and GTA and shit. I'm like, the <laughs> fuck I'm getting that shit right now? Went to Walmart. Spent like three bands on a PC. Four bands, I don't even remember. Just, for me, just did my own setup. I had, had little, little people on Discord help me for me. Told me what to do for me. Ever since then, I just took it upon myself. I mean, now... I just, I'm sorry to my fans that I haven't been streaming. I've just been busy, gang. I've been busy, gang. I've been flying out of different states. I'm not going to, I'm trying to get the shit where I can stream in person, but even that, for me, even be weird too, because yeah. that shit, the location and all that. So, like, for me, that should just be having me double thinking. So, I'm sorry to all my fans who want to be seeing me streaming. I've just been mad busy and shit. I be wanting to do that though, because I be seeing niggas like Kaiser Not. They, Famous as hell and be outside. That took that nigga a couple funny years though, though, gang. So, yeah. I don't find him. Yeah, that, that took a nigga funny. a couple years. That shit ain't come like that. Nah, but I'm saying like, the fact that he that famous and to do a stream outside, like the, the in real life. I mean, he don't got no problems, bro. And he not a stump nigga either. He from New York. Like, not a dumb. He know if he gonna do a live stream outside, he ain't gonna walk out with his two hundred thousand dollars worth of jewelry. <laughs> yeah. He know he he know if he do a live stream outside, he got. Security in the back watching behind that screen. Like, you know, like, Kasha not not dumb. Like, he know, like, you know, I mean, it's just protocols to this shit. Mm. So when y'all, when, when you was in the uh, game and shit kind of heavy, what you was like in the hills or something like that? Or I mean, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm from the hill. Yeah, yeah I'm from the hill. Because ain't that, that, it was a server called that, right? In the Heights too, or maybe? Or Towns? It was something like yeah. that. Yeah, oh, you talking about the server. Oh, yeah. the hills, the server. Yeah, I be, I, I be in there, yeah, I be in there just crashing out, doing whatever I want, wilding. <laughs> be robbing niggas. I be walking up to niggas like, give me all y'all shit. Like, I'm telling you, nigga, I be taking niggas APs, oh, all bro. that. I done robbed a couple rappers, man. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 didn't, I ain't gonna lie, me and Didi got into it with, um, I think Young and Nace, I don't, uh, on the game and shit. I don't, I don't remember. We was just banging out with them niggas on the game and shit. Um, What's some differences y'all could say, like y'all notice between uh, y'all two cities just from going back and forth? Oh, um, she just chill. I'm mad energetic. Or she be looking at me like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> like, sometimes, sometimes I'll be chill. Then I, that energy just pop up out of nowhere. I start bugging. Or, right, but, but not right now I'm chill because I'm tired a little bit. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of people in her city, for Like, you could walk downtown out there, it's going to be crowded, for Like, our downtown don't be that crowded, for Like, you feel me? You could still walk around without somebody being on your back, you feel me? Like, stuff like that. Like, it's just a lot of people out there, for But I don't know. That's all I could really say about the differences between our cities. Y'all try, like, the, uh, well, of course y'all did, but, like, what would you say you noticed, like, with the uh, food and stuff? Um... I don't think I, I I did. I tried like chopped cheese and um I tried no that was in Puerto Rico. I tried no, bro. She tried a chopped cheese 
from downtown. Every chopped cheese downtown is dirt. You got to go to the hood. I don't like the one I got from. I don't be like none of this. I ain't going to lie. I ain't like the chopped cheese when I went to the hood, but that's because of what I got on it. But the one when I went to downtown for... It had like my it tastes like a like a spaghetti like burger. it just yeah like a spaghetti burger so like <laughs> it had meat that's kind of sweet no it had I don't know it had like meat cheese and uh marinara sauce so it was good I like that it, it tasted something like I would eat she went to the hood somewhere I don't know. I went to the where the Aki. No, the Aki went to the yeah. Aki way shit. Yeah, I, I went there. He they be doing me. anything or not. He ain't make it though, fuck. So. But I ain't get all that on that. I don't eat all that stuff, so I'm not gonna get that. <laughs> Somebody send me off, send me that off some TikTok shit and told me I asked for something to Aki. Where that man put anything together. Uh-uh. And then tell me, I'm bro, what I supposed to do with this shit? Uh-uh. Nah, yeah, I'm I definitely, I'm like, ass. I ain't yeah. really know what it was for. Like, I seen it, but like, I didn't know like exactly what it was. I'm like a chopped cheese. I don't understand what that looked like. Then when Girl, I said that, he like, downtown. he said it's a burger chopped up. So I'm like, right, I'm going to just get what I get on my burger. <laughs> I got cheese, ketchup. It's all I eat on my burger. So, I get it on this. As but it's not a burger. On it, so. It's a chopped cheese. Well, That's what I was that. trying to explain to her. Chopped cheese. I like, is that, that short for like cheeseburger though? She, bro, it's she, a chopped bro. cheeseburger. <laughs> she a chopped cheeseburger. She kept me like this in New York right in my head, gang. I'm telling you, gang. <laughs> I'm telling you, gang. When was the moment you noticed like you got your first buzz with the music? Like, I don't know. And I saw my followers start going up and shit. Like, it was trending and all that. For me, and then labels started texting me and shit again, reaching out to my family. So just really, and then when me and my son Didi dropped 40s and 9s, and when we did that, it was over. Or it was over. We dropped 40s and 9s, and it was over. Or do people over. do people get you confused, like, uh, think you're from the Bronx a lot? Nah. I'm, nah. I, I, go not, like, I know where he was from when I met him. Like, yeah. what part of New York? I ain't know what part he was from. Till you said Harlem, but I didn't know that. I'm I didn't know what Harlem, I thought. I'm from Harlem, but Sugar Hill. Like, that's my block called Sugar Hill. I'm fine. For me, like, my shit just, I ain't gonna lie, I don't really, I don't really know, gang. Like, my block is not like a regular block. Like, you understand? Like, my shit wide open. Like, wide open. Like, every other block in New York be having projects and shit. Like, my shit just, like, mad wide open. For me, mad delis, mad grocery stores. Like, you know, she was there, she was walking around straight like there's no projects there's no projects until like the last it's last just block buildings bro. yeah it's man just buildings. buildings like cribs though like mm. buildings I see you dropped the uh, project two sides to the store yeah it was a good album bro what was the uh, inspiration behind the name I worked on the album for a long time so I was just like really 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 working on it for a long time like you know I had the PMB feature yeah, that's actually about that. So you got you the know, first feature since he passed, right? Yeah, first feature. Me and us appreciate his family and appreciate everybody who worked with him, who cleared it. I had Star on the, on the album. I had um, Skiller Baby, Honcho. I mean, it was a good album for me. For me, and that's why I worked on it so hard because I knew like it was gonna be something. Like I didn't want to be compared to the other rappers in New York. I'm trying to be different type shit. And then the the meaning behind the name is really just. Two sides of the story, bro. You go listen to the song. I'm telling you two, like, I'm I'm singing. I'm giving you different flavors. And then if you go look at the picture, it's a picture of a young me and a picture of, like, me now for me. And then you'll see, like, the old d when he was broke and shit, like, the little young nigga in the streets now. See, like, the matured me and shit. So, I mean, it's just, like, for me, I was just speaking about me and that shit. Yeah, I noticed, like, in the span of two years, her voice changed, like, Mm. Crazy. Like, I don't know how though. I ain't gonna lie. I be looking at videos on my Snapchat because I got my Snapchat for like years, bro. And then I be seeing that shit me, 12, 11, really had like a bitch voice. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> you got hit puberty, man. Yeah. Puberty came in clutch. <laughs> they be thinking I'm older than what I am. So uh I, I seen like a lot of videos of you like outside, young as hell, type shit, like. What age would you say, like, you really, like, you know? I've been outside because, bro, I got my uncle for me, uh, my, my dad for me. They was in the streets for me. And then, uh, then like, my mom wasn't just not no regular girl, too. My mom was in the streets, too. So it was like, then I grew up crazy for me. Then I got into the gang shit. Like, I was just mad outside for me. So that's why I say this music shit was a blessing because I would have still been outside, like, doing nothing. 
like doing nothing. Like I literally, it's a video of me outside. Like I, like I, somebody asked me in an interview, like if there's something you could change, you did back then, like what would it do? I said, like, just being outside all the time, like doing nothing. Like everything my grandma and my mom told me was dead eyes true. I mean, I'm glad I'm realizing it now at 16 for me and other niggas be finding that shit out in their 30s and 20s for me. So that's why I'm just, I mean, I, that's why I was really outside too. And then I had a lot of bad influence too. Like for me, a lot of niggas wasn't telling me to do the good things for me. So for me. You had a uh, relationship with Naughty? Yeah, bro, I got that nigga name tied. Oh, dang. Why are you fucking? <laughs> well, I knew it's it. This, this is really funny. boy fun, right you know? there. <laughs> what I want to ask, like, how did uh, his death affect you? How old were you when he passed? I was like, we was damn near the same age. I was like 13. But, yeah, I, I mean, you can see gang got that nigga name tied, and I don't got to say too much for me. I mean, so, I mean, that's what really I mean, made me keep going, too. Like, the bros that passed away, like, I'll be feeling like, Stopping this shit sometimes. I'd be in the crib for me, just for me. Then I'd just be like, nah, the bros passed away. I gotta keep doing it for them. Then I got my family and shit. So I just, for me, don't stop, gang. So he was he was rapping before too, right? Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie, my son would have been here. He would have been, he would have been probably like, he was better than me. I ain't gonna lie. He was teaching me a lot of shit. Like he would tell me, like, yo, D Dot, you gotta start like before, cause when I write, I would just say anything. He was like, yo, bro, you got to start rhyming. For me, you got to, like, him and Didi, they teach me shit. For me, it's shit that I'll do now. Still do to this day, so. Like, yeah, like, I ain't gonna lie, my son was younger than me and better than me. He was teaching me a lot, so. For me, I just, then the song I got with him, Evil Twins, that shit passed 10 mil. For me, me and him, me and my son really just was locked in. For me, me and Didi, we was just the youngest on the block, us three. Just me and him, not youngest. Nobody else. Everybody else is older than us. So you and uh, Didi, like, y'all had, like, issues or something before? Nah, nah, nah. nah. We ain't never had issues. My, that's my bro. I had seen a clip with him. I didn't understand what he was saying, though. <laughs> it sounded like he was speaking his own language. Oh, was... I know what he talking Nah, Didi speak retarded, but I know what he's talking about. <laughs> Me and him, when we was younger, we used to, like, Naughty too. we used to just fight. We used oh, to, yeah. I used to go to his, because, like, I told you, like, my block is mad big. Like, for me, Didi block on 140th. My shit on four seven, four four. So every time, like, uh, he'll do some shit to me. I'll go back to his park, get it on with them niggas. For me, then it was just little kid beef, though, bro. That's what he was saying in that video. It was like an interview, right? Yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. That's what he was saying. Okay. Yeah. So when y'all uh, first like both got signed, like, what was the feeling? Or like even just getting the you know the calls from the record labels and the meetings and stuff like that. Like, what was the feeling when y'all seeing like, all right, this was going on? I don't know. I, I knew I was I was going to be something one day. I just didn't know what I was going to be. But when I got signed, I was just mainly chilling until the, the, the day it came, like the day I signed the paper and shit, and then we had the little party. That's that's when the shit was like for me. But I was just chilling until the day for me I signed the shit. I was just chilling until the day um, the party came. I don't know how she felt. I mean, I just know that it felt good to feed my family and shit now, though. I mean, so couldn't do it before. I mean, I'll just say you, uh, your first feeling. I was excited though, but that ain't make me feel like oh I did it for yeah. I ain't yeah. get it yet for I'm on grand time right yeah, that's now. Just, that's just, a step. That's just, just like ten first, grand for yeah like, number one. Yeah, yeah, like the first race. Exactly. You know? Like he been doing this, so he he got molded me right now. For you feel me? Like he been working. For I've yeah. been working, but I just got signed. So like I'm on grand time right now. You know, like anything that I'm doing right now, y'all already did that. Yeah, me. So, yeah, I think a lot of people don't realize that, like, they think, like, once you sign, you just made it. Not knowing, like, it's yeah. a lot of niggas fuck up, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Ain't even, even, I, I don't know about, for me, even, I don't know about us, but even me, bro, like, everybody fuck up, bro. For me, you're supposed to fuck up. If you fuck right. up, if you don't fuck up, you don't learn. So, so, I mean, everybody fuck up, but I don't know about that I'm talking about niggas be like fucking up in a way about just be thinking about oh that's that's the biggest bag in the world and yeah, I'm the rich money, and bro. like after niggas blow their money bro they ain't shit then you owe your label and then all that shit bro so I got two more questions and then we're gonna close out because I know y'all got that performance to do yeah on because you you just spoke on uh you know people like messing up like was it ever a period of time where you would say like you messed up your money with this shit and then like you learned your lesson like I don't want to go there again. Cause I know a lot of rappers go through that and they don't show. Ever did Theo? No, 
I got I got people. That's why I'm young and got people on my team. Never did. Yeah, so. for sure. I'm like that. Like, you probably never had time to do it. <laughs> yeah, but true. My I, mama I makes sure I don't spend all my money. Yeah, like, yeah, you got to bounce around. The yourself. mistake I do is probably waste mad money on clothes. Yeah, that's one thing. I'm talking about the dumb shit. Nah, nah yeah. I don't waste my money on dumb shit. On mm -hmm. niggas. I just waste... I just be fucking up, wasting money on clothes. I ain't gonna lie, I be wilding all the whole time. How funny. I mean, I'm starting to switch it up though. Now I'm not buying the real expensive, expensive shit. If it's not Louis Vuitton or some shit. But for me, you see, I don't got. For me, I'm wearing regular shit. So you know, before we close out, is there anything that y'all want to leave the people with? Any messages? Any shout outs? Anything Get my baby to ten million views. And DM twenty. The next. Matter of fact, this month. I got a. I y'all like I y'all a couple or something because I. No. You know, they keep, yeah. <laughs> oh, that'd be funny for me. Oh, yeah. I know I would that for. But yeah. nah, we don't go together. That's game, you know. We locked in. All right, but, but we just chill and eat pizza. You feel me? <laughs> but what I was trying to say, make sure y'all get my baby to 20 me. I don't know what this man talking about, 10. That's, that's, you feel I me? said by the end of this month. By the end of this month, I don't phone down. We need 10. But by the end of this, and next month, 20. But yeah, you know, all the kids that's looking up to us and looking up to me and all that, make sure y'all stay in school, get good grades, you know, make y'all family proud. You got a dream, make sure you chase it. Don't give up on nothing, you feel me? So, them is wise words from SB, so make sure y'all take it to the heart, so. <laughs> yeah, man. We love y'all. Y'all already know the vibes. Thank you for having us, gang. Thank you for feel coming, me? too. Sugar Hill D-Dot, Star Benz. Bro. The only ones y'all gonna have. Right. Let everybody know who, uh, you know, got to watch out for the interview. 16 shot him. You know that. Yeah, yeah. 16 shot him. Y'all already know the vibe, man. Hey, shout out to everybody that's tuned in to this video, man. I appreciate all y'all. If y'all want to show y'all appreciation back, just hit that like button for me, man. And follow all my social medias at 16 shot on visuals with a Z. Last but not least, though, check out my merch, man. Check out the merch below in the merch self. If y'all see something y'all like, man, y'all want to support, you know, cop a little something, gang.